ABC has lost bus service, Saskatchewan has lost bus service. So it's a national emergency when you can no longer say, we have efficient passenger rail that moves people around, then we don't have buses either. So we need to have a modernized transport system where there are buses where we can't get trains and we need light rail to be as spokes off of, so for instance, the train that lands in Moncton that we took, should have had light rail that took people to Fredericton and St. John and then across the bridge into Charlottetown so that every part of Canada that has population centers is adequately, properly serviced by public transportation. I mentioned earlier we're an aging population. A lot of people need to get to doctor's appointments. There are so many places in Canada where you have to get in your car and drive in winter weather to get to a doctor's appointment because there's no public transit available as an alternative. And it's not safe and we can afford better. So we're gonna say a lot about transportation, both freight and people in our platform. But it's been astonishing to discover how what I see is clearly a national crisis of loss of bus service is not treated as if it's a national problem, but it's everywhere. So thank you, George. Yes, and just the last part, CP has gone after me to prevent me from getting EI. That's when I found that. From getting EI. EI, oh. Well, they're, they're, they're definitely paying attention to your work. You should be quiet and proud. <laughs> <laughs> Although you should be angry. Yes, thank you. Hello. I um, just want to say uh, thank you for coming to Regina.